All right, so good afternoon on this Friday, uh, February 15th, 2013. This is uh, quite a significant event I'm going to report to you here because what's happening right now is, well, first of all, there's an asteroid that's making a close pass by our planet. But first, I want to bring forth to you something else that happened earlier today. Earlier today, there was a meteor strike that occurred in Russia. The meteor occurred... The meteor strike occurred at around 9.13 a.m. local time over there. That's roughly well into the early morning hours here in New York and probably overnight hours over here. But this occurred in the southern Ural region of Russia. And the fireball, according to this article here, hit the atmosphere at a speed of at least 54,000 kilometers per hour. That is 33,000 miles per hour, 44 times the speed of sound. And it shattered over the city of Chelyabinsk. A large fragment seems to also have hit Lake Chebarko. And the Russian Academy of Sciences estimated that the meteor, called KEF-2013, had a mesh of about 10 tons. And the air burst occurred at an altitude between 30 to 50 kilometers, that is 20 to 30 miles above the ground. The meteor was not detected by radar before its approach. So that was a surprise event. And that is, um, and according to this article, this is the largest extraterrestrial object to hit Earth since the 1908 Tunganska event that occurred nearly a hundred years, well, well above a hundred years ago. So that's crazy to see this happening. And now we begin to wonder if this meteor that happened, that this meteor strike that happened earlier this morning has to do with this asteroid that is going to make a sudden pass nearly brushing the Earth. Of course, this is 20 to several thousand miles away from our planet, but it's still, you wonder if that this fragment has to do with that asteroid. Of course, there is no uh, reports yet regarding to where and how this meteor and where it came from, but it is something to, you know, think about. So that's pretty much it for now. I mean... According to this event here, nearly a thousand people were injured because of broken glass because of the shock wave, and two people are in serious condition. And buildings in six cities in that region have been damaged due to the explosion and impacts. And uh, the ablation of the meteor created a dazzling light bright enough to cast shadows during broad daylight in Chelebinks and to be observed by the sub. The vlogs, I uh, can't even pronounce these words, but uh, basically the meteor created such a light event that in the sky that's unusual that created shadows. In fact, it was so dangerous and so loud that people thought it was the end of the world, it seemed. And uh, there was several amateur videos on this right here. A loud sonic boom was what occurred after this meteor made uh, impact. So that is basically uh, a wake-up call that, you know, you know, we've been forgetting about these things, but these things do happen. You know, it's been well over 100 years. In 1908 was the last time we've seen a strike of any object, but that's a wake-up call to get our eyes open that asteroids and meteors are likely, you know, they're likely to come here and they will do damage and perhaps kill all of us, you know, because these are probably the most devastating types of natural disasters that could ever occur. I mean, they could literally wipe out an entire civilization within a blink of an eye. So that's something to really, really take extremely seriously, like literally, like a very, like literally the most serious you can become, because this is literally life-threatening for mankind. So, uh, of course, right now... There is no, there is no, uh, any sort of, you know, indication of an asteroid that's going to make, make an impact here anytime soon. Of course, there is something in 2036 that they're predicting that could uh, come here, but that's well away from now. That's year 2036, uh, February of that year, they're expecting some sort of asteroid to make a close encounter. So that just goes to show that we got to wake up. And we have to be careful and be wary of space. Not just the weather, not just earthquakes, but space also can pose a significant threat to human life. 
More to come as uh, this asteroid continues to circle our uh, planet. Of course, it's nowhere near the planet. It's, it's going to actually brush uh, a satellite. It's not expected to hit the satellite, but it's expected to go within the orbit of Earth and the satellite. So that means uh, the asteroid will literally pass right through. The asteroid right now is being monitored on NASA's website. You can go to NASA's website to get more information about that asteroid. And of course, CNN is having some type of live coverage of this event. So definitely keep your eyes and ears open because this is something to really be concerned about. Of course, the asteroid will not make any impact here. It will not hurt us. We'll be, we'll be okay. But of course, it's something to definitely start thinking about. All right, so that's pretty much it for this update on this Friday, February 15th, 2013. Have a great one and uh, stay safe and keep an eye on the sky and watch for uh, extraterrestrial objects. Have a great one. Bye-bye.